everybody, I'm Stacey J. And I'm Chuck Duran. Here we go with part two with the awesome Tony Oliver. <laughs> so you mentioned earlier, and we can't have you here without asking you about while you were at Saban Entertainment, <coughs> you were instrumental part of the team that created, produced, and you were head writer for mm -hmm. the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah, isn't that weird? Uh, so cool. Wow, big deal, man. It was uh, it was interesting because I was uh, I'd I'd gone I'd actually uh, gone to work for for Saban a couple of years before that um, to work on anime because they were mm -hmm. they were big on anime to work on a show called Noozles which was on Nickelodeon as a story editor and uh, they promised me three months work I left eleven years later yeah <laughs> nice um, but there was a, at the time uh, every time they would bring a they would have a new show they wanted to get some some ideas on they'd bring the various creative people that worked the writers uh -huh. uh, and we would kind of the brain trust we'd work and we'd go make suggestions and help out the development department and it just so happened it's kind of my turn and uh, I went up into an off into Haim Saban's office and uh, and Haim is this triple A Israeli man who who just owns every room he walks into he's very powerful force of life yeah and he comes in and he, and he throws the tape in the machine and says I want you guys to watch this and I was there with Ellen Levy Sarnoff who's the uh, who was the development executive and we watched this weird show with all these people in spandex jumping mm -hmm. around and people mm -hmm. in Tokyo running as buildings are falling <laughs> what is this and so and then he explains what he wants to do he wants to take off all the uh, Japanese stuff use what's left and build a story around it and I thought he was crazy <laughs> I thought he was out of his mind um, but I went to work on it because I worked for the man. Yeah. And um, and a few weeks later, we put together a tape of just the action sequences from one or two episodes. So we didn't see any of the story. Mm -hmm. Nobody, no humans, only spandex and monsters. Uh, threw Danger Zone on it and sent it to Denver to be focus groups, and the kids went crazy ah. without a story, without any of that. So at that point, I didn't think he was so crazy anymore. And it just you know a year well, later. Because at the time, it was a very unique. Well, there you got to think a, about what was going on at the there time. There wasn't was a, a lot happening. There was Little Clowns of Happy Town, yeah, mm -hmm. and the Smurfs on one side of the spectrum, mm -hmm. and you had Batman and X Men on the other. Yeah, um, and uh, yeah, where did we fit in? Um, yeah, so nobody thought we were gonna. Yeah, mm -hmm. I even had the editor I was working with, the video editor, who uh, pulled out all the Japanese footage for me. We spent <laughs> a whole Christmas holiday doing that, and um, and he said, if I can turn this on. On my TV at home on a you know weekday morning or Saturday morning mm -hmm. and see it, I will kiss your rear in public. <laughs> and on premiere day, the where did it happen? The phone rings. He goes, <laughs> where and when? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it was weird, and it was quite a ride. We had no idea. Mm. I mean, we knew uh, the night before we uh, we premiered. I was in the office with Haim, and we were talking about something else. And I brought up, you know, we premiere tomorrow. It's a big day, and mm. I'd never seen him nervous before. He was actually nervous, mm. and uh, and uh, we thought in that discussion, you know, maybe we'll premiere, we'll get to number one pretty quickly, and then we'll settle into a, you know, one to two. We'll just kind of hang there. Maybe we'll get three years out of the show, maybe five. Mm. And the last thing he said to me was, uh, you know, if we pull this off, it's going to be the miracle of the century. And he was right. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. the next day it premiered, and a week later we were number one, and. Three weeks later, we bumped Batman out of their time slot and took oh. it. So, yeah, it, it went really fast. It was a lot of fun, and I think it's because people left us alone because everybody thought it was going to mm -hmm. it was going to fail. Yeah. So everybody left us alone. Well, I was going to say, I mean, and then you you wrote on the show. I mean, what do you think was it that resonated with people? Why do you think it was such a, a successful show? Um, I have my theories. Uh, most people think it's because of spandex and explosions and, mm. and jumping monsters, and I think that's part of it. I think uh, you know, especially among the young boys, they like that sort yeah. of thing. I think why we were a success is, number one, we were different. Number two, we wrote stories which allowed the characters to be squeaky clean and yet cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you didn't have to be a bad boy to be cool. Um, it was a simple story. You know, we didn't take it very seriously. If you, the first couple episodes, first couple of seasons, the show makes fun of itself within the show. I mean, mm -hmm. we, we really didn't take it seriously. Um, and we also wrote for girls, which is something that most boy mm -hmm. action shows did not. We were very interested and making sure that the girls were able to watch it. So our stories were a little deeper, had a little more complexity. Mm -hmm. We right. threw some of the stuff that, that, that female audiences want to see. It's a, it's a different viewing pattern. Yeah. And, I th and, and our girl characters were, they were still feminine, they were still pretty, but they could kick ass too. So I think the combination of all that and that particular moment in history, mm -hmm. I mean, you think you have to have all of it. I don't think yeah. it would work again if we did yeah. it now. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, timing is is definitely key yeah. for a lot of the things that we do. Yeah. But it, wow, what a great story, though, man. That's so it, cool. It totally consumed my life for three yeah, and a half I years. I bet, yeah. man. Because yeah. I did all the live, I did wrote the live tour, the the the, the mighty tour that went yeah. around. I did all of the the outside performances. Uh, I was in, I, was, I got to go to uh, Australia for th for three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was only supposed to be three weeks. I was there three months <laughs> uh, while they were shooting the movie, and it was it was just yeah. it was quite an experience. Do, do you remember maybe uh, you know a roundabout of how many voice actors you guys employed for that for that show? Well, for the time I was there. Um, um, <clears throat> Uh, a couple hundred, I mean, I think. Because they had like, During yeah. the three years mm -hmm. I was there. I, you know, the, the the core cast was the same, but we had guests coming yeah. in all the time. I was the first one to hire Wendy Lee to do a boy monster voice. Wow. She came in and she did it. She does the roar. He goes, I'm doing boy voices. She was so <laughs> cute. Um, yeah, funny. it was a lot of, Brian Cranston came, yeah. he was he was mm -hmm. a, he was on the show uh, after I left. I never got to yeah. meet him. Um, yeah. We, we well, but anymore now with technology and with all the fan conventions, I mean, it's <clears> got a, it's got a huge fan base, mm -hmm. and it's got a whole new generation of people that well, it's been like three hundred Power Rangers it. now. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, know? it's very cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, let's talk about some of your workshops, man. Okay. Um, you got some stuff coming up, right? Yeah. How do people get involved in some of your uh, teachings? Well, um, I'll, let me explain the workshops first. Yes. Um, a, a, a few years ago, uh, Bang Zoom Entertainment, who's my largest client, um, uh, I do most of my, 99% of my directing there, um, they, uh, they put out a, a, a DVD documentary called Adventures in Voice Acting, and they, they interviewed like 100 different actors for two or three hours and put together this really nice documentary. And they started getting inquiries. Well, this is great. How do I do this? How do I do this? So they launched a class. I think the first one they did was with Crispin. And mm -hmm. they did one with Andrea. And I know uh, Lex Lang and Sandy mm -hmm. Fox did some. And then he asked me to do one. And, uh, and, I, and I went and did it. And I loved it. I, I just thought it was fantastic. I really enjoyed the process. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now it's grown. Uh, I have three full day workshops that I do, a beginning, intermediate, and advanced. And they're anime based. So you know, teaching this, as we were talking yep, about before. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because if you can do that, the rest of the stuff is right, easy. Right. You know, it's just acting. So uh, we have a beginning, which is very basic. It's it's elementary. This is acting. This is a microphone. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is a studio. Don't touch that. It's that kind of thing. Do yeah. not <laughs> yeah. <laughs> touch that. Um, never touch if this If you didn't button. bring it with you, don't touch don't it. Don't touch it. Um, the, the, the intermediate class is a little bit more academic. It gets into character creation, how to break down a character, mm -hmm. the various tools that the actor has vocally mm -hmm. that they can manipulate individually. I mean, we all do it all. There's music in our voice, everything we do, but if you understand mm -hmm. how to manipulate it and make it work. Uh, I do a, a, a prelay. Prelay is the American animation. So there's anime, there's ADR, and there's prelay. Right. I do a mock prelay session so people get an idea of what it's like to work in a group. Mm -hmm. And then for both the intermediate and advanced, or uh, beginning intermediate, the last four hours of the day is just spent recording. We're wow. just nice. in the studio. We do it in a real studio with real voices, with real scripts. When we play, when you we when you do a scene in the anime, yeah. When we play it back, you're in there with embedded with the with the original cast. Wow. So you can hear yourself, which mm -hmm. I think is more instructive than Absolutely. anything I can tell oh, somebody. Oh man, yeah. You know, when you if you're keeping your if you've got a scene and you're working with Bloom, because I have a few scenes yeah. with his yeah. voice in it. Steve Bloom, you're working with yeah. him and you're holding your own. Well, maybe you should think about doing this for a living, right? you know? <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you might actually make some cash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, That's uh, fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So, and then I have an advanced class, which is a little bit more of a, of a lab. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, do I do a mock audition. Uh, we do a mock video game session. Because video games, it's the same thing. It's acting, it's acting, it's acting. But video games, uh, the one that I was doing today, I, I'm moving at about a pace of about almost 100 lines an hour mm -hmm. in wow. order to get it done. Yeah. Um, so you, so you got to be focused and stay with it. So yeah. I just put them through that so it doesn't mm -hmm. freak them out. Mm -hmm. so cool. get to do and it. you do these workshops around the country, mm -hmm. primarily L.A., but, I mean, if people go to adventuresinvoiceacting.com slash workshops, they can find the schedule. They can find yeah. there's some great information on the website. Yeah, there is, idea. especially because we're launching new stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you know, aside from the three workshops that I already talked to, we have monthly workouts that we do. Um, I think the next one's in about a week. It's sold out already. Yeah. Um, the um, and those are just the, like the last four hours of the workshop. Yeah. So we like mm -hmm. three four hours, and it's just practice time at the studio. Um, I just launched a class last year called "Getting Out of Your Head: How Not to Voice Act," mm. um, which nice. is all about learning how to calm those nerves down and getting out of your head. And it's more of a regular acting class, and mostly because most of these people haven't taken one. Right. Mm -hmm. So to actually get them to do some Meisner work and things right. like some of the internal work that you do to kind of loosen yourself up. Yeah. Right. So that's a four-week class, right. actually. 
And then in a few months, we're going to be launching a theater for, for voice actors and other teachers going to do that. Uh, we're going to start doing a, a guest series here pretty soon where we have, uh, you know, get an evening with Crispin or something mm -hmm. like that. Awesome. And, um, and so, and it's going to keep growing. So. Good. So I'm going to preempt the people that are going to send us emails. You do not teach privately. I don't do privates. So I don't this do. is how, if they want to work with you, yeah. this is how adventuresinvoiceacting.com um, slash workshops. workshops. Okay. And there's a little place on there where you can uh, just click to put yourself on the email list. And Terrific. We send out a blast no matter where we are. Okay, great. So uh, pro I'm uh, in L.A. Well, we just did one here in L.A., so mm -hmm. probably the next one in L.A. will be in February or March. Mm -hmm. Probably doing San Francisco in February or March. I anticipate going to Chicago and Seattle next summer. Great. So, and, I'm okay. always in New and I'm always in New York in March. Okay, great. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, good. Fantastic. So, so no matter that gives where you're living time. at, you yeah. get some action going. Gives you time to make your travel plans. Very, very good. Love it. Yeah. Love I it. I love that. Get down. So out of all the different hats you wear... Mr. Oliver, mm -hmm. what are you? Uh-oh. Let's say Mr. Oliver, you're in trouble. I mean, you're in trouble, Mr. Oliver. Um, d which one is your favorite? Why? What, what are the you ones You know, it depends you... on the week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> depends um, on who's hiring me. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you that the least favorite thing I do is write. Mm, okay. um, it, it, the ADR adaptation. It's, it's, yeah. I've been doing it a long time. It's 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 kind of tedious, and, mm -hmm. and so that's the least favorite thing. And it's not bad. I mean, you know, if you got to right. do something for money, that's a great thing to do. Right, yeah. right. Um, so that's the least. And and I keep going back and forth between acting and directing on mm -hmm. on the other side, just because it's creative. I do like producing in that I have a lot more control. But in the circles I'm running in now, that control would keep me away from some of the creative stuff I like to do. Yeah. So, so it's it's, and I'm really kind of been focusing on. on I've been refo I've been focusing my career on directing for the last few years. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm going to direct a. Cross your fingers, the money happens. But we're going to supposed to direct a feature next year, a psychological awesome. thriller in New York. Nice. Awesome. So, so that'll hopefully be um, something I'm focusing, and I'm refocusing my voice work a little bit more towards now towards commercials and things mm -hmm. like that because I haven't been in that market yeah. Yeah. for a lot of time and yeah. it's, it's about time to explore it. You're Absolutely, finding out how to man. be a real guy. Yeah. A real guy. No, he's yeah. great. He's the real guy. Well, you guys did. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. worked we together. Demo you did this. demo Absolutely. together. Absolutely. Great demo, by the way. Thank you. It, how you how was that really working good. with Chuck? It was great. <laughs> <laughs> He never hears that. Uh, yeah, I never hear that. Um, no, but uh, I was—I I remember when you when you came down and we were working together. And before that, I had—I was listening to your animation demo, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Wow, this guy is so good!" Yeah. And your characters were so great and so strong, and just you know, because your your demo is pretty neat. Oh, thanks. I know that you did it a while ago, <laughs> yeah. but the way you structured it, it's really cool. You should check out his site and, and, and listen mm -hmm. to it. Is it still up there? Yeah, TonyOliverVoiceOver.com. Tony okay, yeah, his animation demo is really cool. Yeah, so good. And uh, and then we were working on commercials, right? So I got to just hear you playing just be an ordinary guy acting, and you nailed it, man. Well, thanks. It's I mean, weird because like, I had to relearn. It took me about a year of working. <laughs> Because when I did commercials last was 20, yeah. 30 years ago, and it was all about hype and big and yeah, 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 super and, big. And, yeah. and now it's all about being really cool. Right? Yeah. Right? And so it's had to relearn how to do that completely. Yeah, so exactly. So I spent a year doing that before yeah. I came to you. <laughs> well, no, but I love, I love that, you know, and I think it's great for everyone watching who's either breaking in or established that you're always, you always need to keep reinventing. Yeah. You always need to keep learning and stretching yourself, and it, you're never done. And I just love, you know, here you are. I've discovered that about, I have to reinvent myself about every 10 years. Mm -hmm. you know, I have to, you know, I, and I, I'm a little overdue right now. Yeah. Um, but it's, uh, I've just noticed that, it, you know, everything goes great and then kind of, okay, yeah. I need to reinvent and go this mm -hmm. way. Yeah. Now. Well, it's very easy to get, you know, side railed when you are busy doing yeah. things that you right. are going to stay right. busy doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you want to turn things around, you just got to say, okay, mm -hmm. I got to really focus here Absolutely. and put some time into that to make some uh, some some yeah. other stuff yeah. happen. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. What do you think have been the keys to your success in your life? I've never been asked that question. Um, really? Yeah. Oh. Um, I... The truth. Yeah. The love of this. I mean, I... I, I um, I can't imagine doing anything else. Um, you know, I, I have to act. I, mm -hmm. It's not a. It's not a. I want to or it'd be fun. I have to. Um, I have to be creative for a living. Um, something I didn't think I was going to get to do early mm -hmm. on. That, yeah, uh, it was just always going to be. That's something I do as a hobby. That's part of it. I think part of it has been um, just 
it, just keeping at it. Uh, and saying yes. I say yes a lot. Mm -hmm. Saying ye I, For a long time, I said yes to everything. Even if an opportunity came up, I have no idea if I can do it, but they're, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I remember coming home one day for, uh, to my wife, and I said, um, I'm going to be uh, co-directing a feature film. <laughs> Do you know how to do I that? I do that now. Do you know how to do that? <laughs> I said, well, we'll find out, won't we? Yes. <laughs> you <know>? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it did okay. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's, 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 I think the key has just been being open mm -hmm. and trying to stay grounded and staying, aw trying to stay away from the celebrity, that whole mindset where it's mm -hmm. all about ego. Uh, how much is my autograph worth? Yeah. I mean, look, mm -hmm. you, you have to have an enormous ego to survive in this business. Yeah. I certainly do, uh, you know, uh, but, but keeping it in check, I think helps. Yeah. Your yeah. success. Well, I think ego and self-belief are two different things. Well, you have to balance it with gratitude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I'm very grateful. Yeah, that I'm, you very, are. I'm a that's very weird. lucky person to yeah. get to do what I do, yeah. And, yeah. I, and I don't, you know, it's... Well, and I think that's why so many people love you and speak so highly of you is because yeah. you're, you're clearly confident, yeah. but you're not arrogant, and that's a big well, difference. Well, thanks. Thanks. I, I, yeah. I left that for other people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's always better for other people to brag about you than <laughs> absolutely. Than yourself. Man. Yeah, it, it's been. I have had a lot of luck. You know, a lot of you know, luck favors the prepared, as mm -hmm. you said. Yeah. But but you know, I've had a lot of. You know, I just had a lot of good fortune and and who yeah. I managed to meet and, and yeah. where it's going to happen, and I'm not done yet. So we'll yeah. see. And, where, and see you're where not I go. absolutely. You're absolutely yeah. right. I'm excited to see what's next for you. Absolutely, me too, man. Yeah, because yeah. I'm just I'm just wrapped up Bleach. I'm wrapping up Naruto here pretty soon. Yeah. So I, I I need something new. Yeah, Beautiful. yeah. <laughs> Call him. Here's his number. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Tony wants a new spin. Prelay Marvel show. Yeah. Great. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, Mr. Oliver. <laughs> Stop so, the Mr. thing. <laughs> so, so uh, Mr. Oliver, uh, please uh, share with us some of your current projects that you're excited about. I can't talk about any of them. I no, know. <laughs> <laughs> but I was going to say, so much of your stuff is like, nope, can't. Yeah, yeah actually, there's but, a couple things I'm working on right now that I actually can't talk yeah. about. Yeah. Um, uh, one of them is really cool. Once it comes out, it'll be kind of simultaneously released in a couple continents at the same time. Right on. So that's kind of fun. Okay. Um, I just... Uh, stay tuned, continents. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I'm working on the second season of... Finishing up the second season of Magi here, coming up pretty cool. soon, so mm -hmm. we'll be wrapping up that. And that's done fairly well. Yeah, there. absolutely. Um, uh, some of the stuff that came out this year that I'm really proud of is uh, Fate Zero. Uh, it was an anime... Fate Zero. Fate, Fate Zero. It's a prequel to an anime I was in earlier, many years ago, called Fate's Day Night. Mm -hmm. I got to direct this one. Um, and it's... Uh, it's very cinematic. It's not your silly anime. The, the script was brilliantly written by the Japanese, and they gave me an A-list cast, an A-cast, mm -hmm. um, and, um, and allowed us the time and budget to really do it right. Mm -hmm. It's very rare. It's very rare you ever get a budget to do it right. Yeah. And they actually gave us the time and the money to do it. And uh, it came out wonderfully. It's my favorite thing I've ever worked on in my oh, entire life. I love it. I actually got the box set. I've never done that before. Wow. And watched it. And because by the time I've, by the time something comes out, I've seen every episode yeah, 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 yeah. nine yeah. dozen times. So for me to get the set and actually spend a weekend watching it, man, was, was, wow. yeah, that's really is good. Cool. So are you are you critical of your work Very. as an actor or director? <laughs> yeah, yeah, more so. I, I'm less on the on the actor side because of the getting out of your head mm -hmm. thing. I, I uh, my wife is my sounding board. Uh, mm -hmm. She she's absolutely honest with me. She tells me when I'm good and tells me when I suck. Yeah. <laughs> Did she ever tell yeah. you that you suck? Yes. She does. Uh, yes, of course. Wait, but wow. I have. I usually ask though. <laughs> I have, yeah, yeah. No, no, I did. I did a movie. Um, uh, the last feature film I appeared in yeah. when, I re when I realized that <laughs> the maybe, last. maybe I need to not do movies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I was playing this cop. I looked 12. You know, Ooh, I, was, yeah. I didn't look right. I'm playing this cop. And the movie was terrible. It was a B minus, minus, minus movie. And you're not going to tell us? The, it's, I'm not sure if I remember what it's called. People are ready to Alley, like. Alley Cat? Something Alley, alley Cat. Cop? No, no, Alley Cat. Alley Cop. <laughs> alley Cat. Um, alley Cat. It's funny. It stars a guy who eventually won a Tony Award. But oh, <laughs> see, he's an old friend you of mine. gave up too soon, Tony. Um, um, no, you, you, Robert Torty is, is yeah. Mr. Hunk. I mean, yeah. you know, he mm -hmm. got a lot of what he did. He get noticed because of the looks and gets the part because he's a good actor. So right. it's, there it's, you it's, go. it's got both okay. of them going on. So, uh, so I, I we were driving home from the screening and Aww. I said, so um, did I suck as bad as I thought oh, I did? Oh, from the screening. Yeah, You're not and she even went. Given it Oh yeah, <laughs> she was, she's she was ruthless. Kind. No, she was very. Kind I have to ask, but how long have you been married? Thirty-five years. Good for you, because yeah. you, you can see there's a you can just hear the love. So I mean, thirty-five yeah. years—that's amazing. 
Well, that's, you know, talking about the secrets to, to, to longevity is I have, you know, a support system mm -hmm. at home. I, I, yeah. you know, my wife has supported my, my career wholeheartedly our yeah. whole life. Yeah. And um, and even when it's, you know, things are nasty, she's still there for me. Yeah. Mm. So, in fact, she's been the one that's been pushing me towards the commercials. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> right on. She said, you're good at that. You should do that. Yeah, you're good at that. So, you know what? I'm going to awesome. back her up on that. Oh, hey, good. I so. believe. We sat down and we made a little plan to get you yes. uh, some And I've done everything except sending except, them out. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I'm so, going to have to call I'm going to be sending out some stuff, uh, agents that watch yeah, this. Yeah, so, so yeah. So, yeah, sign him <laughs> like that. Um, the new so year's funny. coming. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's put you on a spot a little bit before we uh, go. Okay. Tony, pick a number between 5 and 127. 93. 93. Okay. If you had to pick one of your personality traits as being the best, which would it be? Oh. Don't say lying. No, no, no. Um... I don't know. Uh, uh, I, I I try to be kind to people. That's a good so, one. That's a so really go. good one. That's a great one. Don't always accomplish it, but I try. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is your chance to apologize. I'm so sorry. To those would you like, is there anyone out there that you would like to apologize? Take the this floor. This is the time to do it. Take <laughs> the floor. You know who you, you are. You know who you are. He's, He's sorry. So sorry. He'll never do it again. So sorry. Oh my God. Well, dude, I gotta tell you. Uh, I, I, I said this in the beginning of the show, I'll say it again. The people out there that you work with really like you a oh, lot, man. you know, and I think it's because of that. You're kind to people, you really know your stuff. If you have the opportunity to study with this whole organization yeah. here, do it because you're definitely going to get some great stuff out of it. And you're just a cool guy, well, man. Thanks. The first time that we got to meet, th that's what I said. I go, He's a cool guy. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. So, Congratulations well, for so all much. your accomplishments. Thank you so much. Thank Continued you. success. Thank We're totally you. And proud. Thank you guys. Yes. And uh, we will see you in 2015. Yeah. And you too. Happy holidays. Get down, baby. Hey, everybody. I'm Tony Oliver, and I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. This show is so cool. I hope you got a lot out of the tips we gave and uh, all the shows we talked about, and I just had a great time. Well, that concludes our two-part episode with Tony Oliver. We hope you guys have enjoyed it and that you got a lot of good stuff out of it. And we are so excited because we now are going to go celebrate the holidays yes. rock and roll style, baby. Yeah, we hope you have a wonderful time with your family, your chosen family, your friends, and we will see you in 2015. Wow, how did yeah, that happen? Yeah, baby! 2015! Okay, you guys, keep up with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and just know that we love you. And just remember, you, you always have time, time for a little buzz. buzz.